I'm Davis. <laughs> You, I'm Davis one. I'm Davis one the first. Walk in the trap like a boss. Oh, are you not dripping with the sauce? Oh, pretty with a face full of scars. All they did was build me up, try to take me apart. They ain't never want to celebrate. So a few days ago, I pulled up in this man, Ronald Sink, Ronnie 2K's park, and he was actually playing or talking with Chris Move right next to him while he was playing. Now, he was live streaming. You guys see, I had to VIP somewhere. I think I actually VIP'd one of my good friends. Yo, my, my better white side, okay? But I, I had to play Ronnie2k, alright? And in that intro clip, it's actually from the day before when he was doing a pink diamond giveaway, right? And I don't play my team at all, so I haven't even claimed this thing out of my rewards queue, right? But he was doing a pink diamond giveaway, and I got lucky at like the 5,000 people in the chat. So I won his giveaway, alright? And then like a few streams later, I decided to pull up on him, and he had Chris move in the 2k headquarters on live stream talking with him about NBA 2K19. We'll top of the video. Oh my goodness. Game time versus Ronnie 2K. I'm gonna show you guys in a second that he was talking with Chris and Booth, but real quick, I'm playing against two tryhards, all right? I know these guys, Beast Mode, I used to play them all the time. First 90 overall, I made a video with him. And then you guys gonna see my squad is actually people I just hopped on the spot with. I didn't even get a chance to take off my headphones, bro. But that other guy on the other team is PJ. That's my boy, too. Uh, he won, like, a whole bunch of Mountain Dudes. But this is, like, their first or second game playing with Ronnie. So they're going super tired. They don't want to lose. And I actually have some funny stuff to show you. I haven't been on Bulls account in a while, as you guys see. I had to change the camera setting on. But let me go ahead and show you guys, in fact, that Ronnie was with Smooth. Yeah, we're almost there. <laughs> All these guys are still playing. Amazing. Oh. Can't hold her down. She's so psycho about that, that toy. It's unbelievable. Um, if you guys have questions for me or Smooth, uh, feel free to uh, drop some bits. We'll probably see you a little bit easier. We're we're trying to monitor the stream and then also play and talk and whatever. But happy to answer some questions too. They got some questions. Let's see if we can read them. You guys see Ronnie saying to, to donate bits or whatever if you want to want to get your question asked. I don't know, man. You feel me? Like, uh, 2, 2K money on you? Nah, but honestly, though, I actually think this is hilarious, bro. You guys see that a sharpshooter is making that at the beginning of the game. You know what I mean? Like, that's been a thing all year that sharpshooters, sharpshooters can fade away from half court. And I think it's amazing that stuff like this happens in the game so you can see what the gameplay is like while you're playing against a community manager you guys see pj can go back and forth i'm just pointing out some of the flaws in hopes that when ronnie plays you know what i'm saying he can see now i really was hoping that he would play twos i really want him to play twos so he could feel the pain on twos bro there's so much toxic toxic stuff that goes on on twos you guys see this man snack city almost gets the, the the three point and one to drop bro but basically like i said Ronnie has sweat on his team. I'm hopping on with some randoms I've never met before. And it's going to be a tough game. You feel me? You guys see he gets an easy three right here. Bang! Now, I'm not going to lie to y'all, bro. These guys on my team are pretty good, as y'all see throughout the game. But like I told you guys, Beast Mode is a Mountain Dew winner. And that's PJ on the team. He won do like five times. Like, these dudes are some sweats. Luckily, I clamped them up right there. And you guys see Vados is taking up the ball. Once again, I do not know who my teammates are. And I didn't even have my headphones in for the first half of the game. So I'm just I'm just hopping on because I'm like, you know, I gotta play Ronnie. Alright. So I'm trying to show, you know what I'm saying? Distribute and show some of the cheese. Cause my main goal was to get on here and act a fool. Alright. But at the same time, I wanted to win. And you guys see I ended up getting blocked right there. But my main goal in this gameplay was to eventually show Ronnie some of the broken stuff in the game. And I definitely wish I would have did that more. If I was on my account, I would have. But, you know what I mean? I tried to play Ronnie so many times on my account. And it just never works out because I get VIP. So I had to hop on and be the person who VIPs. You feel me? So I think in a bit, I actually ended up putting my mic in. Because your boy's not trying to lose to Ronnie freaking 2K. Alright, so right here, uh, I'm like... Give, give, give me the bar, give, give me the bar here, and I end up just going between this dude's body low key. Don't jump, they jump anyway. I get an easy layup. Now, I should have to cut to Ronnie 2K just so I can show you guys because him and Smooth were actually talking about some pretty interesting stuff right here. Like a lot of people said, the neighborhood, you, they got to get rid of the neighborhood because it, it you got you walk forever, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And it takes you so long. Yeah, and it, yeah. what's the point? Yeah, it was cool for a little bit, but it's. So. We, we heard that. Now, this is a 2K community OG sitting in the office with Ronnie 2K, and he literally told them our feedback. That's why I have so much respect for Smooth. But anyway, back in the gameplay. You guys know this dude is a tryhard, bro. You guys see he bakes us up there with the Elite 3. I'm so excited. 
to see how bad sharpshooters are not bad I i'm excited to see how how so many people aren't good next year without elite three without the animation glitch all right y'all see snack city misses right there beast mode gets a lift so now we're down one nine to eight now i actually started to run the offense once i got in there because they were about to ice me out if i didn't put my mic in all right but then they, they they were like full court pressing in august for some reason then they end up seeing me cross i get a wide open three right on the back even on a shot creating playmaker you see what type of plays i mean you see the type of plays i make now right here we're up now this is just comical i mean ronnie didn't really have reactions to this i'll show you guys but do you guys know like sharpshooters can literally fade away from deep three-point range and have that go in like that's consistent that's not like a one time a game thing but like i mean i guess that's normal to get i mean that's something that i like to see taken care of i don't really think that belongs there for sharpshooters i think if anyone's gonna be able to fade away, it should be shot creators only, or just like it takes away being a shot creator. Y'all see, he hits a deep three right there. The offense is running flawlessly now. You feel me? Now this right here, this possession right here was one of the most frustrating. Like I told you, this team is super experienced. I'm not gonna beat around that too much. But at the end of the day, bro, this just shows you we play such good defense. We're playing three up at the same time. We get a guard to get down there. We're just trying to do anything so we can clamp these dudes up. And most importantly, I give up a three. We get down there. I tried to jump, but I couldn't get the block. Now, this is actually super lit right here. I think this possession, I'm like, you know what? I'ma just ice him right here. And you guys are gonna see. I think someone ended up getting lost right here. Cause I just started ending up getting wide open, bro. You guys see I'm running the point guard and no one guards me. As a matter of fact, Ronnie runs away from me. He did not want to switch. You guys see I get an easy three Bro, I wanted Ronnie to switch on me just one time. Now they take the ball back up the court. I think Ronnie ended up getting a little bit tight with the point guard. Let's go. Hey, but real quick, I'm about to actually switch back. Cause Chris and Ronnie were talking about something interesting again. Listen. I think it was for shots, but that, that's an interesting question because there's lots of combinations. So I'm going to ask that tomorrow is how does it work for the second? And how do you, how do you determine, or are they going to tell us what it boosts? Right. I like you. depending, you know, that that's yeah, a good yeah. question because we yeah. need to know yeah. before you make your build. Yep. See, when you're making your build, you have all these options and you want to know before you do it what you're going to be able to do later what is this guy doing now i know i need to provide a little bit of context right there but basically what they were talking about is i believe someone in the chat was asking can you know what your attributes are before you upgrade because i know at 2k18 at launch you didn't know exactly what you're gonna make and you were just kind of making your player blindly and chris smooth kind of alluded to that it was like that again but i do believe i'm pretty sure that Ronnie2k specified that in the prelude, we're not going to be able to 100% know what our players' capabilities are in terms of attributes and stuff, but they will add that into the final game, which is super cool. You guys see they get clamped up right there. So this man almost stole the ball. I was low-key, like, I ain't lie to you, Chief. I was low-key in my try-hard bag right here. Like, I can't lose to, to Ronnie2k. So I think he ended up getting me the ball. Yeah, yeah, they, they wanted me to run point guard, dude. So I'm down here. I'm really trying to break his ankles. I told him to set screens. Cause I wanted Ronnie to switch on me. And I actually have one possession of Ronnie on me. Yeah. I tried so hard to break his ankles, dude. I tried everything. I pulled out everything in the book, but it just didn't work. So I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna get a bucket. Easy bucket on Ronnie 2K. You know what I mean? I, I had to kick him for the one time. You feel me? I really like I really wanted to cheese my butt off, but I really, if I had more than one possession with him on me, y'all see Ronnie 2K doing a half spin. Hey, I didn't even know Ronnie could, could combo up like that. But that turn right there pretty much cost him the game. Now I know I was like, yo. Send me another pick, bro. I really want to get a chance to, like, break him or something. I, you know what I mean? I want to, to just do him dirty. So, Ronnie picks up on me for half a second. Leaves me wide open. I tried to pull up. And, uh, you know what I mean? Unfortunately, off the mark. I don't know, bro. Like I said, I'm on a playmaking shot creator. If I was on my play sharp or if I was on my point forward or my sharp shooter for sure. You guys already know I'm getting animation. I'm running back right there. So, I'm like, you know what? He's getting kind of close. Screw it. We're just going to come back right here. So, I end up running past this man, Ronnie. Hit this man, Vados, wide open. And he ends the game 17 to 21. We pulled up on Ronnie 2K. Now, I want you guys to pay attention really quickly. You guys know the center I was playing against. Well, I tried to play against Ronnie again. And look what happened. Okay, so basically, if you can't tell, I'm playing with my boy Beast Mode, who's, who's supposed to be my dog, bro. That's supposed to be my guy, all right? 
and Limitless Guild found a way to get back on Ronnie's team, but Beast Mode got on my team, so I'm like, you know what, Beast Mode, you know, I'm sorry I have to just drop you off, let's put in work so we can expose this man, Ronnie, and you can get a video too, alright? But guess, 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 guess what this beast, this man Beast Mode does, right? His other intentions. He's throwing the game in August. Why? Well, well, Davis, maybe he just made a mistake. Maybe he just double tapped triangle. Nope. He's actually salty that we dropped him off. All right, this man Beast Mode is literally salty. All right, I just want to show you guys that. All right, Cause I, I could have got a sexy double gameplay, but no, this is why I didn't. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. Thank you guys so much for all love and support. I just want to show you guys how salty people can be, alright? Man, was really salty and through the game, alright? But look, the prelude comes out in like five days. I'm actually so freaking excited, man. 2K season is back upon us once again. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for love and support. Make sure you hit that like button if you made it in. Sub if you're new. And um, I love you guys. Bye. <laughs> Davis on Davis, up to date with the latest, we got the latest sneak later to you, you should spend every day with me, teach you how to ball, 2K team, latest news on who's who, and Nike Supreme collab too, for who, 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 on Davis on Davis, who, on Davis on Davis.